Freedom at Last for Al Jazeera producer Baha Mohammed and freelance producer Mohammed Fami. The pardon by President Abdel Fattah el Sisi is the end of a long ordeal, which began when they were arrested in December 2013, along with Al Jazeera correspondent Peter Grester. I am absolutely overjoyed for Fami and Bahar. It's absolutely fantastic news. And I, I've been, more than anything else, we've been concerned for their safety. We've been concerned for their welfare. There was, no, there was never any reason for them to be in prison in the first place. The three journalists face charges, including aiding the now banned Muslim Brotherhood. In June of last year, a court sentenced them to seven to ten years in prison. Then, last January, the Court of Cassation threw out their convictions and ordered a retrial just living day by day. I don't hope anything, I don't expect anything. In February, Gresta was deported to his native Australia. Mohammed and Fami were released on bail later that month. But they were unable to leave Egypt. They said with their lives on hold, they were still serving a kind of sentence. Their plight inspired a global campaign of support from grassroots to heads of government. The issue of the Al Jazeera journalists in Egypt uh, we've been clear both publicly and privately that they should be released. Last month, the court in Egypt returned Mohammed and Fami to prison. The retrial was supposed to give them and Gresta a second opportunity to clear their names. Instead, justice was denied yet again. The arrest and detention of Mohammed, Fami and Gresta damaged Egypt's reputation abroad. President Sisi's pardon has allowed him to close this case without threatening the independence of Egypt's judiciary. There are, though, other Al Jazeera staff who were convicted in absentia at the original trial. Al Jazeera says that it will continue to fight for their cases to be thrown out. For now, though, the happy closure of one chapter. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.